Hi, my name is Andy Haynes. I'm the pastor of the Church on Seven Hills. And at the Church on Seven Hills, we talk about five key areas that build our faith. Scripture intake, fellowship, prayer, mission, and generosity. I want to take just a couple minutes today and speak with you about generosity. And I want to commend to you 2 Corinthians chapters 8 and 9. If you have questions about giving and generosity as it relates to the Christian's life, those chapters will unpack it very well for you. But just a couple key points from those chapters about generosity. First, we should be generous because it shows a response to God's grace. This is how the scripture, Paul in chapter 8 of 2 Corinthians, words this response to God's grace. For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sake he became poor, so that you might by his poverty become rich. In that connection Paul builds between generosity and the gospel, he shows that by Christ emptying himself, he came to earth for us to save us, to bring us to God. And so we have a response to that. Yes, we give ourselves to Christ and a, and a visible, tangible result of that is we become generous people who show that our hands and our eyes and our lives are now fixed on Christ rather than this world. And so we can let go of things of the world more easily. So it's a response to God's grace. Second, it is intentional. Paul encourages the church at Corinth to intentionally set aside some money for his arrival so that when he arrives, the money is ready and given to him. That intentionality means effort on our part. So we intentionally set aside a little bit of money to give specifically as a response of generosity. So be intentional in your generosity. And third, understand that our generosity is an investment in the kingdom. And this is really unpacked in chapter nine. And it just simply says, whoever sows sparingly will reap sparingly. And whoever sows generously will reap generously. So let's be a generous people who sow generously so that we reap generously. And our, our investment is not in things of this world. Our generosity is given that we invest in the kingdom. And one visible way of that is that this weekend on, on Friday, uh, Micah and Leah and Allison are headed out to be part of the Quest experience. Through your generosity, they are fully funded. And so thank you, church. And uh, we're praying for them. We're praying for their trip. Yes, but as we sow generously, we can already see how the kingdom multiplies. So I want to thank you. I want to thank you for being a generous church. I want to thank you for your giving. And I, I want to encourage you, keep walking in generosity. In the coming weeks, we'll have videos that unpack the other five areas. But just in reading my Bible this morning, generosity is how God spoke to me. Have a great day. I hope to see you Sunday, 1030 a.m. And have a great 4th of July weekend.